Hello and welcome to Driven HQ. We've never recorded a video in our office space before, other than some occasional podcast stuff, but today we're doing something a bit different. We're doing an unboxing. You've already seen what it is from the title of this video, but we thought we'd get together, bring in some items and tell a very short story about this very significant unboxing. Uh, roughly around seven or eight years ago, I embarked on a new hobby, the hobby of motorcycles. And in doing so, I also embarked on another hobby, which was spending lots of money on clothing. By far, the most expensive boots I've ever purchased were motorcycle boots. The most expensive jeans I've ever purchased were motorcycle jeans. Uh, by a long way, the most expensive jacket I've ever purchased, yep, that was a motorcycle jacket. And for head protection, I also spent the most I've ever spent on what you could arguably call a hat. This hat. This is my very own Arai Access 3 that I purchased way back in 2016. I spent a lot of money on this helmet, thanks to some great advice from a great shopkeeper just outside Wimbledon in London. This helmet has been around the world with me. It's ridden around the highlands of Scotland with me. It's even ridden up the Goodwood Hill at the Festival of Speed. It's been through a lot. There have been many replacement visors, multiple side pod replacements, as you can probably tell, because they're a slightly different color to the rest of the helmet. And there are a good few stone chips and dead flies and dead bugs caught up in air vents, which tell a story of good use. Perhaps the coolest thing about it is that sticker there. That's the Scrutineer sticker from the 2023 Festival of Speed to signify that I was able to ride up the hill. Now I made a conscious decision when buying my crash helmet and the conscious decision was on the basis of safety. I picked this Arai helmet for the values that come with the Arai company. It's a small family run company, Japanese, small community of people, no stockholders, no shareholders, no committee of people to appease by giving them great profits and mega sales. The company has one priority and one priority only, and that is the safety of their product. So you can imagine my joy when the distributors of Arai here in the UK sent me a little note saying, would you like to review the new Arai crash helmet? Of course I said yes. And so here in the glorious signature Arai blue and white box is my new crash helmet for 2024. This is an Arai RX 7V Evolution. I'm going to get it out now. Here it is. Inside the signature Arai protection bag, which is rather lovely. There's also some additional things like an instruction manual and some extra stickers. Probably end up going on my laptop or something. But here's the bit we all look forward to, the big reveal. Say hello to my brand new RX7V Evo, finished in a rather glorious diamond black metallic. I'm gonna give you a moment to just admire this paintwork. Now the RX-7V is a helmet which is used by both road riders but also racing riders. This is pretty much identical, albeit some changes to decal and some aero at the back which you can clip on. This is identical to the MotoGP riders helmets that use these when competing. There are more similarities that come with that, I'll explain all of those very shortly. But the helmet itself features some rather lovely accessories. We have, of course, as you would expect, a pin lock visor where you can open and close. You don't have to worry about things like fogging up. We also have heaps of ventilation options on this helmet as well. So we have chin ventilation to drive some air through to the front. We've also got the brow ventilation there to feed air through the helmet and keep your head cool inside. And you've also got some additional ventilation on the top, which can be opened and closed here, and some exhaust ventilation, which can be controlled with some slider buttons at the back there. 
but that's just the kind of the glamorous, comfortable stuff. The really important stuff is the way that this thing is put together. And much like my glorious Access 3 that I bought seven years ago, this is a helmet that has been put together by hand by an incredibly small team of people. I've already told you that the company itself has no stockholders. Well, that's to appease the mantra of the man that founded this company, a man who was the son of a hat maker. To tell that story, we need to go back in time to around the 1920s when a man who was the son of a hat maker decided he wanted to ride motorcycles in an unorthodox way. Here's a picture of him doing exactly that. Our man on the motorcycle, Mr. Hirotaki Arai, is the man behind this company and its ethos. As I explained, he was the son of a hat maker, and in wanting to expand his father's business, he developed and gained quite a few interesting contracts. The first one was from the Japanese army. They needed new combat helmets, and helmets that could disperse heat in the very humid climates. So he put together a factory and made the Japanese army's helmets beautifully. A few years later, while exploring and developing his passion of motorcycles, he decided it was probably about time that he focused his ethos on making the best helmets for the army into making the best helmets for motorcycle riders as well. In doing that, he not only built the best motorcycle helmets, he set the benchmark and set the standard of what a good helmet should be. Now this business is still run by the same family. It's been passed down two generations now and the ethos is very much the same. It's not about trying to sell as many helmets as possible. It's about trying to make the helmets as safe as possible. And the process of doing that is pretty unique. Now I mentioned before that the RX-7V Evo is the same helmets that get worn by MotoGP and professional motorcycle racers. Well, the same helmets are put together in the same factories by the same set of hands. And the hand-built thing, well, that's also something really worth focusing on. There's one big machine in the RI factory, and that's the machine that cuts out the visor hole here in the glass fiber shell. The glass fiber shell is put together by a team of 15 individuals. There are only 15 people in the world that know the process of putting these shells together. They do so by hand in a resin mixed exclusively by Arai, and it's a recipe that they will never share because it's pretty much perfect. The shape of these helmets hasn't really changed much over the generations either. This is a helmet now that's been around for many decades and the evolution of this one has followed on and followed on and followed on. And from the early days to now, the shape has remained the same. It's a natural shape, it's an egg shape. Why? Well, because egg shapes are strong. We've all done that test, I'm sure, where we've taken an egg and pushed on the top and pushed on the bottom and the egg doesn't break. Well, the ethos pretty much carries the same through here. Everything about this helmet, even with these clever air vents at the top and on the sides, they're all designed to snap and break off in the event of the worst case scenario happening. And you might think, well, if they're designed to snap off, surely that means they're not very good quality. Well, no, that's not what it's all about. It's about making this thing as streamlined as possible and, in Arai's own terminology, glancing off the road in the moment of an impact. Arai still use side pods to cover their visor hinges. This is a more expensive and a more complicated way of making helmets, but it is the safest option. If I were to pull these side pods off and even the visor, you'll see that the indentation below these side pods is actually very shallow. The shallower it is, the less likelihood there is of it catching on anything on the road as you're rolling along. You only need to look at some of the horrific accidents that the professional racers have had whilst wearing these things to realize just how good they are. So what we have is a rather glorious hard resin outer shell and then on the inside we have it lined with a completely removable interior. There are various options for size and fit. The sizes of these particular helmets start at extra small and go up to extra 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 large uh, but as well as those off-the-shelf sizes all of the internal cheek pads and temple pads for 
the bottom of your chin and for the top of your temples, they can all be swapped and changed for that perfect fit. If you go into your local Arai authorised dealer, they will give you their time in fitting out the best helmet in the best way. So comfort is a priority for Arai and they've done that beautifully with these really plush, soft interior bits. But the main priority, the biggest priority, will always be the safety. Arai themselves inspect every single crash helmet they build by hand, twice at least. In some cases, five times. Now, the usual process of building anything, as you may be aware, is we make a number of items, we then take a percentage of those items off the shelf and we run them through tests to see how they get on. Well, not Arai. They take every single product they build and inspect them multiple times. If I were to pull out all of the lining in here and expose the glass fibre shell, you would see not one, but two signatures from people within the Arai factory who've signed off to say that this is good enough to be used. It's the same process that happens on the competitors' helmets, the professional racing riders, as it is for people like me and you that are going to be going out and wearing this on the road. The helmets, the way they're put together, and the ethos behind them is all exactly the same. And so, that is why I am so delighted that this is going to be primarily the crash helmet I'll be using for 2024. I've already got a number of bike launches lined up. I've got plenty more press bikes lined up to test and review as well. And this is going to be my helmet of choice. So this is just an unboxing, the review of which will probably happen about this time next year. I'm gonna get a full year of riding, a full year of use. I'll be able to talk you through the pros and the cons, what makes this so brilliant and different and unusual. And perhaps there might be a few things that I can comment on that don't show that it's all great news. The one thing I can assure you of is that I'm delighted that this is the helmet I'll be using. And I'm confident that my head, most importantly, will be safe. So welcome to 2024, welcome to our new era of reviews and welcome to the crash helmet for all motorcycles that I'll be using, the RX-7V Evolution. Isn't it lovely?